if you point at a guy's head, it will like literally insta kill them. Like, look. So, hello gamers, and welcome to top 10 update ideas in Phantom Forces. This is a little video idea I had because I wanted to give some suggestions to stylists because giving people ideas is always nice. Like, they could just completely ignore them. I'm fine with that. But here's 10 of my update ideas in Phantom Forces. Number one is on the vector. If you guys didn't know, a while ago, people were like, hey, the vector should get an extended mag because the magazine is so small. But actually, it already has an extended mag. The default capacity is 13 and with 9 millimeter it's 19 sounds cool but you're like why can't i use the default mag so this is my idea have a reg mag attachment just like the type 88 but it's an other attachment which means you can run it with 9 millimeter it has no effect on 22 or 357 magnum because it wouldn't really make any sense but it works on 22 9 millimeter plus p hollow point all of those basically what it does is it gives you a 13 round capacity and a 19 round capacity with 9 millimeter because that's the default capacity of the guns well what's the upside you just get a smaller mag right but no 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 you get some upsides you should get better handling better walk speed and way faster reload times and maybe more reserve ammo as well which would be pretty cool something like 160 or so which actually wouldn't increase your total rounds now that i think about it but still like it should have a little bit more bullets in reserve faster walk speed faster handling and a faster reload i feel like it would be nice because like kind of rewards people kind of like 25 45 the closest i guess is civi mag on the p90 like basically just like a slightly better gun that has a smaller mag let me know what you guys think about that one in the comments but my next suggestion for an update is custom crosshairs i don't really want anything too fancy you don't even have to change the crosshair itself like you don't have to change how it looks i'm just saying i don't want the big white crosshair anymore man like i think it looks fine but uh it would be a lot better if there was something a little bit different here's my idea you should be able to turn off the dynamic crosshair like other games where basically it doesn't like get bigger or smaller it just stays like really tiny and you should be able to change the color but other than that you don't need to change anything else i just think it would be really nice if we could actually just have a little bit more customization with the crosshair instead of having the exact same crosshair for everybody because here's the problem like if i'm looking down sights i don't really know where the bullets are going to land not only does the hip fire already have spread you also can't really look in the same spot so it would be pretty nice if you could actually like hit fire effectively i guess i don't know it's really not effective when you hit fire it would just be like a quality of life thing it wouldn't really change the balancing of the game or anything because everybody would have it like some people do like mod in crosshairs or just put like a transparent png on their screen of a crosshair you shouldn't have to like actually mod the game or like do anything stupid to get a different crosshair man it should just be like a feature in the game my next idea is something kind of different it's the zip 50 make a 50 action express conversion for the zip it doesn't even have to be good like it could just be so awful but i don't care i just want a 50 cal conversion for the zip i think it should have a five round capacity but maybe make the reload faster or maybe just keep it the same as the default mag because the default ammo is pretty fast reload and it should either be able to two hit kill head or one hit kill head and do kind of eh body damage or something and make it have like a ton of pen like i don't know it just should have 50 cal conversion it doesn't even have to be good to have a 50 cal zip would be so funny anyways like my idea was maybe it should have like 33 max damage so it's like a four shot and maybe have a torso multi but be able to one hit head but that's kind of similar to the gsp so maybe it would be like a high recoil better pen gsp that shoots faster but obviously has a ton of recoil that's just an idea though the next idea is very simple it's basically just an auto case opening feature or maybe like a 10 times opening feature but though so i open the case right now i have to just click it again i just can't automatically open or open 10 of them at a time i have to do that and it's very slow i almost just got gold on the boxy buster that would have been sick this feature is like super archaic and if you want to open like 600 cases like i had to do either you have to use an auto clicker or just click a lot of times also there's this weird feature where like if you click you can't really click again without moving your cursor oh canadian flag grows and that's pretty sick but basically all i really want in that feature is just an automatic or 10 times opening case feature it wouldn't be like an afk farmable thing because you actually have to spend money so it's not like a big deal but yeah my next idea is a buff to the groza 4 the groza 4 is badly in need of a buff especially since groza 1 with 556 is better in literally every way except slightly less damage at range it has a better headshot multi same damage faster handling more rpm i believe a faster reload time everything about it is just worse right so the groza 4 is not that good they did give it a buff like almost a year ago now where now it comes with a 30 round mag instead of a 20 that's a nice change but it's not really enough so my idea was it should do 38 to 22 and have a slightly better min damage range so basically it won't be able to three hit kill that far but it can to it head decently far and it won't drop so bad at range and it should also have 1700 studs per second muzzle velocity because the barrel is pretty long you know it shouldn't have the same velocity as the as foul it's a bullpup like it's a bullpup with a very long barrel bullpups should have better velocity that's how a bullpup works if the magazine is behind the trigger it's a bullpup and that means the barrel length is very long like if you look the barrel length from the magazine all the way to the actual barrel is very very far it has like a longer barrel length than like a ton of other guns in this game 
it just doesn't make any sense why it has like awful velocity it shouldn't be like insanely good like 1700 instead of 1500 that's fair more than the as style but not like insane because it is suppressed but honestly like this gun just needs a buff man you can still pop off with it it's not terrible it's just objectively speaking not the best but it's a fun gun this buff would make it three hit kill and two hit kill head a little bit farther but i wouldn't be changing the max damage range only the min so basically it would draw a little bit slower so you could actually like three hit kill a little bit farther but mostly four hit kill a little bit farther which is a big problem on this gun like it doesn't really four hit kill that far and it does 20 min which is kind of awful so that's just my opinion but next we're going to talk about nerfs the guns are getting balance changes right now i think a massive example of guns that are just way too good at everything they do is some of the assault rifles like these guns have fast reloads fast walk speed fast rpm good damage good ranges good velocity they are just decent at everything the m16a3 and the c7a2 are the biggest examples like they are just so broken so easy to use g 3 definitely made the m16 a little bit better like before it was n i don't even know why it was my highest kill gun it wasn't even really that good but yeah incredibly low recoil but still very high velocity uh, we got honey badger c72 m16a3 like all those guns are just ridiculous they are just so so strong and i think they're a little bit too strong in my opinion all i would really do is maybe just make the recoil a little bit higher on these guns because they're just so laser accurate also the velocity is very high for some reason the 556 like m16 guns have more velocity than an aug which is a bullpup which should have higher velocity but that's fine my next update idea is a change to the m231 first off it should probably get a nerf but i have no idea what nerf it could even get my idea is to give it a nine millimeter conversion this conversion will do awful damage like i was thinking like 28 to 16 or something like really really bad damage but you get a 50 round drum maybe or maybe a 40 round mag i'm not sure but you would get a bigger magazine it wouldn't change your rpm and you get lower recoil so it would be a little bit more of like a if you can hit your shots it does kill pretty fast type gun but it doesn't really perform that well in terms of damage and it should have a pretty decently fast reload even for like 50 rounds it should have like a faster than average reload time i'm not saying anything like insane it should probably increase the reload time a little bit because 50 round mag is kind of problematic i guess but i would like to see more of like a i don't know like big mag but actually like good downsides instead of like the 100 round drum mag which is just so annoying like i don't even know why anybody uses it man they probably just go 100 rounds that's awesome but then it's actually just awful but nine millimeter conversion is like bigger mag and a little bit less recoil but you actually have some pretty massive changes to the gun. I was going to say it could have a 40 round mag, but my reason for why it can't have a 40 round mag and probably should have a 50 is because... 223 exists on it, and 223 is also kind of problematic, I'd say. I wouldn't say nerf 223, like it's balanced, but if you're gonna add a 9mm conversion, you better have some way to make it better than 223. For my next idea, another gun I like to see get a buff is the L22. It kind of needs a buff, man. Not a very good gun, kind of eh. This one's pretty simple, just like increase the pen and increase the velocity, because both of them are very bad for what it is. Its class is known for high velocity and high pen, but both of these are terrible, and so are the damage ranges on this gun, so increase the damage ranges, increase the pen, increase the velocity and maybe increase min damage like 21 or 22 that's all it really needs i don't think it really needs anything too big like massive damage increases or anything but other than that it's a pretty solid gun not insanely good or anything but i would like to see this thing get a small change and just changing a few advanced stats would probably help the gun for my next change, I have a buff idea on the .17 Wildcat ammo on the BFG-50. If you didn't know, .17 Wildcat is probably one of the worst conversions in the entire game. Basically, the only upside of this conversion is that you have incredible velocity. And I will give it that. It does have very, very high velocity. But here's the problem. It actually can only headshot kill. It has one bullet, but three shot kills after about, like, two studs. So it's actually pretty awful. Because one bullet and no pen, by the way, means basically all of the kills that you would get with the BFG are gone and the only advantage is you have more velocity which 50 cals don't really have a problem with the velocity to begin with so this is just an awful conversion that does not normally kill that guy was damaged good player it just does bad damage uh it's not gonna one tap like ever except for the head and like yes it does headshot kill but it basically makes it a schneider scout with one bullet and a very very long reload time but i guess good velocity but, like that's the only advantage of it dude that's the only reason to use it is the velocity is high but it's not worth it so here is my idea on the gun right wow okay I actually switched to a fast setup now so as you can see it's a lot faster basically this conversion should reload way faster maybe like half not like 15 percent or whatever they did the weirdest thing about it is that switching to 0.17 wildcat a very tiny bullet from 50 bmg does not actually make the gun walk faster or aim faster why also the bullet is small yes but it shouldn't have zero pen it literally has less pen than birdshot a single pellet of birdshot will break more windows than this or like penetrate more walls it makes no sense my idea is to increase the damage make the reload time faster make your walk speed faster make your handling speed faster and yeah maybe it'll be a little bit better but it still won't be that good but it's kind of funny because like if you point at a guy's head it will like literally insta kill them like look 
it's literally instant because it does have the highest velocity in the entire game so i will give it that man it does have the highest velocity but yeah all i'm saying is make it a little bit more viable like i could almost see where this is coming from where it literally just hit scans which is very nice but it doesn't really have anything else to make it like even slightly viable so now my final idea is really just for like content creators and also just for people who have spent a little bit of money on a vip server to play with their friends people are always wanting to play a certain game it's like mostly infection right but also some game it's like juggernaut any game mode you can name they're not actually in the game except for gun game so you can only play gun game or like make your own game modes but there's no vip server actual support like if you want to play on a vip server you got to remember all the commands there's no ui for anything there's very few game modes for some reason even though there were game modes in the game and they just removed them like you can't even play them in vip server i'm not even sure why they did that like what is the point of doing that man so what i'm asking for is full vip server support like you don't even have to make ui but i would be very happy if they added ui to the game like for vip servers because it's just so annoying so inconvenient like you have to type in a command every single time very difficult for new players and it really just sucks because vip servers are really nice in this game they're implemented in a pretty cool way where they don't actually save but if you want to try out all this stuff it's actually a pretty effective way to do that and you can change your team and stuff like you can play with friends but you can't play anything cool there's no cool game modes why is there no cool game modes? there were cool game modes and they removed them so what's the point like why would you do that all i'm saying is add back the game modes that were in the game before and if stylus is able to i know like it might be pretty difficult to actually do that but add some ui like just add some ui elements wow the glock 18 is a very fair machine pistol what is this glock 18 setup that's always what they say they say what is that glock 18 setup but it's good that is my 10 new update ideas in phantom forces if you guys enjoyed make sure to like and sub let me know yours in the comments below maybe i'll make a part two if this gets like a thousand likes i'll make a part two i guess but yeah i will see you guys in the next one peace